Welcome to the dream. Well, John Deere is doing well. Those, like, ring gutters or, like, the rain caused a bunch of gutters in the driveway. Welcome back to the dream. Watch out, Keith. Move. Go. Hey, hey. Okay, so we got the walk done. I have to paint that one again. This is how to build a dream. In a world where he is faced with complex medical issues, one man is forced to redefine himself. He has plans. Plans to get healthy. Plans to live learn, grow, and love. He created a YouTube channel about doing things he enjoys and are good for his mind, body, and spirit. He dreams of becoming an actor someday, but also a better human being in the process. This YouTube channel is about positivity. He has big plans, but for now, it's all about things that make him happy. This is how to build Welcome a back to the dream. Okay, so we're going into town and I told Stacy that we were going in town so that I could take Tika for a walk. Hey Tika, Tika, yeah. Which we're gonna do, we're gonna go for a walk, but we're also gonna get some gas. And the real reason we're going into town instead of walking on our the road here, on our road, is that Tika and I are gonna go in and get Stacy a little surprise. Well, we're gonna get some gas for the Jeep, but we're also gonna surprise her with some flowers. She's been working really hard and I want to show her that I love her and that I care about her and that I'm proud of her and she's she's uh, been studying really hard. She's got she's in the middle of her final exams for the semester so she's locking herself away every day for long hours and she deserves a lot more than flowers but that's what we're gonna get her for today and i know this is uh you know a short not a great update but this week has been a little rough on my body so i've done a lot of resting you know some someday some sometimes my body does great and other times not so much and this week is one of those not so much weeks so Bear with me, and hopefully at some point I will get some interesting content out to you. I want to give you an update on the trailer and where that's at, because it's been a while since my last trailer update, so I'm going to give you one of those. Hopefully, when I get back today, we'll record some of that, and I'll just kind of explain where it's at, and then hopefully someday when my body is treating me more well or better, I'll be able to, to get that finished up. I also started building a bed frame a long time ago, so I want to get at that. But we're kind of saving that for, you know, when the cold weather hits and I have to be in the basement as opposed to outside, because the cold weather really does not do any favors for my neurological symptoms. So I'm trying to use this weather when I'm physically able. I've been up in the barn trying to clean that up. So. It's not the greatest content, so I just haven't recorded it, but we, we have some really interesting stuff coming up in the next couple of months. Hopefully we'll give you an update. Stay tuned. Okay, so we got some gas. We always get our gas at Superstore because Stacy, she's really good at it. She collects points, reward points. I don't know what they're called. 
some optimum points, I guess, at a shoppers and superstore, and it gives you a bunch of money back. And now we're gonna take Missy Lula for a little walk, and then we'll get the flowers. It's raining outside right now, but gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so we got the walk done. We got her done. And after every walk, we usually try to give Tika some water. Okay, Tika. Okay, so I have no idea where that cut off. Uh, but she, get, well, she got some water and a treat. And we finished a walk, we got some gas, so now it's time to go get the love of my life, some flowers. Uh, Stacy likes getting flowers for some reason, so we're gonna surprise her. I was thinking about doing it after her last exam, but I think she just needs a little bit of a boost for the last two exams, so we're gonna make it happen today. Hopefully we'll get a good, uh, a good little bouquet. We're gonna go to a place called Marie's Flowers, I think, on Main Street. It's usually where I get her flowers from, and they're pretty fantastic, so. See you in a little bit. Marie's Flowers is down. I got Stacy a bouquet of flowers with a card in it, and I got her one of these just because they were there. <laughs> And anytime Tika has to wait in the car, no matter how short, I usually try to give her a little treat because she's so good. But we got her flowers. She deserves much, 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 much more than flowers, but they'll have to do for now. Anyway, love you, Stacy.
so first of all, I apologize because our basement is a disaster, but we're gonna attack, we're gonna clean the whole house tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week. I don't know where I left off, to be honest. I have, I think one or two, I think I have two trailer rebuild videos from a long time ago. So I haven't really touched it since, but I've done a couple of things and some of it I don't think I got on camera. So we're just gonna give you a quick update. These are actually just for shooting targets. So we'll put these here for now. I took this, this is the trailer frame. I took this over to uh, my brother-in-law's. Paul Thompson. He is very good with this kind of stuff and was actually nice enough to let me use some of his equipment. So one of the things that we did there is some welding. So we welded this shackle, I think is what it's called. And when I say we, he taught me how to do it and I used his welder. So I welded that. That was pretty much my first time welding, kind of. I mean, I played with it a little bit at my friend Kevin's house. And I think before this, my father-in-law, Ken, also taught me how to weld, so. But all very, very quick, very brief. We welded this guy as well. I don't know if you can see it. So when I say we, um, I use that term very loosely. But Paul was nice enough, kind enough, and patient enough to help me uh, get these guys out. I think in the video you might be able to see that like these brass bushing sleeves, I think is what they're called, they go in this part. But they were actually uh, really difficult to get out. I think we left one in and grinded one down. Paul helped me to get uh, one of them out and it took us I, at least what was it like four hours five hours or something uh he used everything including muscles heat i don't know how many different tools he's a mechanical engineer by trade and very skilled with this sort of thing and he said they were very difficult to get out but he he was very determined and and got them uh, got it out so i told him to leave the other one in and we would just uh grind it down because it's going to do the same thing so and then uh my father-in-law ken was nice enough to help me put the new one in so we we took it it was actually like i think my measurements were off a little bit and i had them made they just come as the the brass leaves themselves and i had them made and i think they were off a little bit so ken and i had to like shave it down a little bit in order to make it fit and then once we got it close enough we were able to hammer them down inside so i say them but i think we only did one if i remember correctly i think we only did one and the other one i think we just grinded down so what i have left on this guy is i have some caps that we're gonna put on these caps i bought on amazon just to keep the dust and debris and, and uh, rain water and stuff out so they just pop right in there. It has to be painted, obviously. And then what I would like to do is, there's a couple of spots that I would like to weld. So I don't know whoever had it did little half wells, welds in certain areas and kind of tapped it a bit. There's a couple of spots that aren't the greatest weld, so we might fix those up. And then uh, over here, there's like just the, almost a little tack welds. Um, same with here. Um, so there's a couple of little things like that. And then on this guy, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but basically there's a couple of little spots like that that I would like to weld. So this is uh, just the, 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 I don't know what you call it, like the A-frame dump part of the, the dump trailer. So these guys are a little bit of a story. The tires that we had on it, I don't know how much video or pictures I have, but if I have any, I'll show them now.
these tires are actually pretty difficult to find apparently at least in my area so i had to order them online and have them sent they're 155 80 r13s so these are brand new tires that i had sent to me i think from somewhere in ontario and then these are the old rims they have a little bit of paint damage to them i think just from having the tires put on but i cleaned them off and painted them took the old tire off pulled out the stems if I had a sandblaster, I would have sandblasted them, but I, I, I don't really have a sandblaster. So uh, we just used a wire brush and cleaned them off and painted them up. And that's what they look like now. So these are brand new tires for the trailer and the same rims that are just redone. So, uh, again, I don't know what I have for pictures and video and stuff. This is all stuff from the old trailer, except for basically some hardware and some lights and the new license plate for it. Everything else was taken apart, cleaned, de-rusted, <laughs> and painted. But it's all the original stuff that came with the trailer. So all of this was on the trailer at some point, and I took it off. All this sort of stuff, I, I took off and put in some type of solution uh, usually vinegar like half vinegar half water let it sit for a few days and then took it out cleaned it cleaned it all off and then uh, dried it out and painted it i'm not 100 percent sure if it's all going to go back on or not some of it might be have to have to be touched up because i haven't touched any of this for a while i haven't looked at any of it for a while so there might be some spots that need to be touched up and we got the plate so we're ready to go i talked to the mechanic who's going to inspect it once i get it all together i bought new lights for it because the old lights were garbage and totally destroyed and half there half not there and so the only other thing is these guys like <laughs> these were painted I think, uh, I don't know if it's this one, one of them has to be repainted because I squirted some stuff close by and it landed on it. I don't know if it's that one or this one. I think it's that one. But uh, what I realized is that we don't, these weren't actually on the trailer. If you come over here, these guys were what was on the trailer, I think. And I think one of them wasn't on it <laughs> and the other one was, but it was just barely hanging on and whatever was hanging on either rotted out or rusted out and they're pretty terribly made anyway and they don't, they look kind of like garbage. But these came with it, these came with the trailer when I bought it. So I cleaned these off and painted them. They were pretty much brand new anyway. And, but what I realized is that there's no, I don't have a, a spot to, to mount them on to the trailer so we're gonna have to build something and i'll probably have to um, grind this off so that we can weld something make something to work um, so that we can get them on there so these guys are the new ones and this is an old one a lot of the hardware when i took it off and cleaned it up it still was kind of garbagey, or I had to destroy them in order to get them out. So, or they just disintegrated and fell apart when I went to take them out. So some of them had to be replaced. So for these ones, this one's still pretty decent, but I just went ahead and replaced them anyway, because 
this particular hardware uh, goes over here, if you follow me over here. So it goes down through here, through the bushing. Those things right there, the black, whatever these are called. Yeah. No, those on the garbage cans. Oh, those, those leaf springs. So these guys, you can tell in the old videos, are, were really banged up. One of them especially. And Ken, again, helped me to reshape them, make them work. So we're going to probably put these on. These just house the lights. But they, one of them took a lot of persuasion. And then this is... This is the... Uh, ramp holder i think these ramps over here they came with the trailer and i'm going to redo these as well there's a little uh steel part that uh hooks on to that so this part is the interesting part these are the old bushings most of them are pretty destroyed some of them I couldn't even get the bolt out of. So I went to a place in Nagasco. It's called McGregor's Industrial Group. <laughs> and uh, don't go there. I, I brought all four of these. And I said, are you able to make these for me? And they said, yes. He said he was gonna have to make it out of steel and I assumed, yes, like the steel inserts, right? The outside of steel and there's a little steel sleeve. This is what they ended up making which is what we're gonna have to use because these bushings are actually really tough to find. It's, it's tough to find this particular size and we don't know what this axle came out of. We assume some sort of old K car, but we don't know the year, we don't know the make, we don't know the model. So uh, for some reason or another, it's very difficult to, to order bushings, leaf spring bushings that are, if you don't know what it's coming out of. So this is what McGregor's made me, all steel. They made this from scratch with the sizes that I gave them and with these for context. And they charged me $362.73 to make four of those. Four of those and the two, the two brass sleeves. This is one of the new brass sleeves. This is the one that we probably didn't put in. So that's one that McGregor's made. And then this is what's left of the old one after Paul did a number on it, trying to get it out. So thank you, Paul, for doing that. And I don't know how you did it, because I would have given up a long time before you did. But you did it. You were successful. We got some new hardware to go through. So Ken was helping me learn how to weld on this. This isn't something that's really necessary, but I would like to do it more so to like, get experience with welding and, and grinding and cutting and stuff so working with metal so if you come over here this is kind of my terrible job of welding but we had cut pieces in just to closing the open window there i'll show you what i mean this one we just started working on before i came home but you can kind of see what i'm talking about i'll show you on the other side what the actual window looks like before we did any work to it but we're just putting pieces of metal in and closing it up more so so that i get experience with welding and tacking stuff in and and that kind of thing and, and on this side you can see the little window that i'm talking about so i i just don't want water getting down in there and and causing long-term rust Again, on this side, you can see that it's open. So we're just gonna close that up. Again, not really necessary, but took the, the, the wheel housing, drums, everything all apart. And just to clean it off, take whatever junk was in there out. I'll probably have to clean it again. It's been sitting for a while. And then I started to paint it just because I can. Looks cleaner, it's fun, it's cool. I like it. So I think that'll also go well with, I think the aluminum color and the black will go nicely together. So same thing with this one. Oops. Might have to paint that one again. But you can tell. 
so this like these are these are just what was on there but it was terrible it was full of grease and nastiness and rust and dirt and all sorts of stuff so we just cleaned it up a little bit and uh gave it some new life gave it some new paint these are some old nuts and bolts and screws and stuff that i'll probably just end up replacing did they melt through no nope. So I'll probably just replace a lot of these with new hardware, but uh, I took what I could. And then I, at some point, probably today or the next couple of days, because my body's starting to feel a little bit better, I'm finally gonna get around to cleaning some of this stuff up and sharpening the chains and get these ready for next time we're gonna be using them. Trailer-wise, I just got to do a little bit of welding. I got to get some hardware. We have all the treated wood, uh, like all the treated lumber out in the barn. So we'll, we'll cut that to size. And then it's just a matter of putting it together and then bringing it out and getting it inspected. So the idea is hopefully I will get a chance to be able to do that within the next few weeks, maybe after Christmas, probably sometime in January or February. Hopefully we'll get to show some of that on the weekly updates. Here we go. Didn't win today. Probably because Stacy wasn't scratching it. Oh well, we had fun. Thanks for watching.